Uh, hi. Thursday at 8, 7 central on The CW. I'm going to get in trouble for that now. <laughs> That's what I do for a laugh, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's, it's oh, so fine. I'm just, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so, yes, there have been times where Sam has done things differently than Jared hoped he would have done them. That hadn't been said. I think it plays into the narrative of the entire story, it fleshes it out a lot. Uh, even if, uh, I don't want to agree with something 100% of the time. Uh, if for no other reason, then by having some sort of discourse and disagreement, you can find how you really feel. So I'm grateful, I guess, for the things that Jared was going to stop doing as Sam. I think you and I both, we, we run into those issues, like if there is something that maybe the character is, is scripted to do that we may, as the actors, not necessarily see eye to eye. Uh, with that direction. Um, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, I didn't, I think, I thought that Dean came around um, in accepting Jack a little too quickly. With that as stubborn as he was yeah. in accepting yeah. him and wanting to rid the world with him, I thought that that turn was pretty quick. Um, and, and it went against kind of my instincts. However, we needed it to happen so that we could move the story along. And because we don't have 60 episodes a season, which I'm sure they would want us to do if we survive. 
we could probably have dragged that out a little longer and, and, and made that more of a, of a story point. But we didn't, and we didn't, and here we are today. And I'm, I'm happy with where we ended up, but I thought it was a bit of a short step to get there. Thank you. Yeah, I, I thought you killed the Frankenstein boy. That was one. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.
But anyway, that was tough. By the way, on the way in today, we watched the gag reel. It's really good. <laughs> Nothing. Hi. Hi. I want to show you the gag reel. Yes. He said no. She what? Oh yeah. He's mortified. He's like, this isn't usable. I'm never getting hired again. Okay. Um, I every season I watch it, I'm really happily surprised by character development and um, story arc and where the stories go because I'm not that creative and I never can predict where it's going to go. So, and I often wonder how, um, how, how soon in the development of a story do you know where the story's going? Like for example, Ruby, did you know when they introduced Ruby was she going to kill Lilith? Or uh, you know, did you read it in the last season and go, at the last script and go, oh my gosh, I didn't see that going there. Or you know, when do you see stuff like that? No, I, I... I, I kind of opt to, to not know uh, as long as possible. Um, and I would say the only other person that's, that has that kind of information available to him is, is Jared. Uh, Jared wants to know. He wants to know as much as, as soon as a script comes out, as soon as the writer's draft comes out, he's reading that writer's draft. The problem is, is that the writer's draft then goes through a complete revision and then becomes a, the, the studio draft, which is what they, they send, the writer's draft they send to the studio. The studio then makes their notes, those notes get changed, then they let it out as the studio draft. Then the studio then sends it to the network, the network makes their notes, then they send it out as a network draft, then the, the send it to production, production makes their notes, then it comes back and then they make a production. I mean, it's like so many different variations of what the script is, and I'm like, why would I read something in the writer's draft, get really excited about it, just to have it be gone by the time we get to the picture. So it's, it's gone. It's all gone. So if it's gone, then that means that we can't open that door again. If we can't open the door, then I should have never come back! So, but for some reason, Jared just wants to know all the different variations, and he's a nerd like that, and that's why we love him. Um, I, on, I, on the other hand, <laughs> I just don't want to waste my time. Plus, it kind of messes me up chronologically in my head. If I start thinking about what I'm doing in this particular episode, and I've read ahead, things that I've read ahead start to play into the choices that I make for Dean in this episode when they shouldn't because that hasn't happened yet. So I tend to keep it a little bit more chronological and I will read, uh, I will wait to read the script that I'm shooting a night or two nights before I start shooting it. Um, and I feel like I have created a, a system that works for me uh, in that I can read it. My, the difference is when I read a script, I read each scene about two or three times before I move on to the next scene. Jared reads the entire script like a book and then he'll go back and read the whole script again from front of it. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm sometimes I'm even reading the lines two or three different ways. And I'm like, okay, if I said it this way, okay, that, if I said, oh, what if I did, okay, if I said it that way, yeah, now we move on. So I'm making the choices literally as I'm reading it for the first time. And that's, um, I don't know if that's a, a recommended way to do things. <laughs> but work. but it, it's, work, it's work for me and, and, uh, and I'm, I'm okay with it. So anyway, to get to your point, I don't, I don't read ahead. So I'm on as much of a roller coaster as you guys are. Um, and then, to be honest, the last edit of the script is in post-production, after we've moved on and are shooting a different script. And so when I see that final episode on, on television, sometimes I'm surprised. I'm like, oh, oh, wow, okay. They didn't use that line, they didn't use this scene, they didn't use 
that reaction, which kind of changes certain things, but I see what they're going for. I see the, the rewrite that they made in post-production. Good to know we can apply that to the, to the future episodes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. That's awesome. Right. Right. Come on. You know what? You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Um, you too, I guess. <laughs> yeah.